Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Project Learn, a Reskill and Spark initiative aiming at upskilling tech enthusiasts on emerging AI technology with the help of workshops and hackathon and building a highly engaged Spark AI community. Through these workshops, you would be taught how to build your first AI effect on Spark AI Studio with features that enhance the experience of Facebook and Instagram users. And I'm Anamika, and before we start the workshop, I'd like to run through a small presentation to share the purpose, flow, application, and benefit of being a part of this program. So as I mentioned, Project Learn aims at helping you kickstart your career in the domain of augmented reality by training you in the technology. The program structure is divided into three broad stages. In the first phase, we will walk you through Spark AI Studio and teach you how to create your first AR effect from scratch, which involves importing assets, Canvas, face tracking, patch editor, and generating test link. In the second phase, we will move a step further, teaching you about the advanced filters and share with you Spark AI policies before you finally submit your effect. Submission of your effect will get you a meta certification and access to resources that will help you to prepare for the hackathon. In the final phase, we will host hackathons at your college level and Pan India level. You would be rewarded and recognized for your efforts and contribution. Before we move further, I would quickly like to introduce Spark AI Studio to you all. Spark AI Studio is a tool used by global community of creators and brands to create and share AR experiences using Facebook family of apps. And augmented reality is an interactive experience which digitally enhances what can be seen, heard, and touched in the real world. At the moment, we have over 600 million users using AR and meta apps. Let's have quickly have a look at what's happening in the world of AR. So there are four key capabilities where AI is being used currently. To give you a brief insight on how AI is being used worldwide, we all have come across those face filters on Instagram where we can add a mask on our face. This is done by using a face tracking capability. IKEA, the popular Swedish chain of home furnishing stores, uses AI to help their customers choose the right furniture for their home through the world tracking capability. Similarly, while QR codes are normal to scan now, we are also able to scan the pamphlets and business cards using target tracking. And body and hand tracking, the latest capability introduced, offers utility for fashion and e-commerce brands, allowing users to try an outfit digitally before they can click on a purchase. Here are a few effects which I'm pretty sure you must have tried and uh, you know on Instagram. The first one that you see here, uh, the the hair color changes when the person is screaming, or the celebrity call from uh, you know uh, on Instagram that is very popular off late. Similarly, uh, AR is also plays a very important uh, role in escalating your gamifying experience by mapping effects with facial expressions, gestures, and head movement. AR has played a very crucial role during the pandemic, bringing the world at your drawing room by emphasizing on the moment, making the content much more interactive, enjoyable, and memorable. Having said this, what happens to the effects that I have created? Well, the effect that you create is published on the Instagram user page in the story section in Reels. And the most interesting part is that your effect is available to the audience worldwide to use and experience. OK, now I've learned how to create my AR effect. And it is being used by the audience worldwide. But how does it help me professionally? So there are various ways in which you can use AR to your advantage. You can monetize on the platform by building AR interactive AR effects for brands and crea uh, creators. You can become an AI UX researcher, AI developer, educator. 
You can leverage AR in your career by identifying and solving the problems. And you can also take augmented reality career further into VR and XR. With so many advantages, both immediate and long term, I'm pretty sure you're going to make the most of these workshops. We had shared the download link for Air, Spark Air Studio with you in the email. I hope you have downloaded it. In case you haven't done it, please do it before we start the session. And I'll quickly introduce to you uh, the mentor for the day. We have Chavi Garg with us. Chavi is an AR creator for the last two years, and she has created some amazing AR effects using in, during her journey. She was also in the top 10, uh, top five in the uh, Meta Spark AR India brand challenge. Welcome, Chavi. Hello. Your voice is echoing, Chavi. Thank you so much for uh, such an amazing introduction. And um, thank you so much. Uh, so, um, Yeah. Hi, everyone. This is Chavi. And uh, today we are going to understand that how we can get started with our first one, the uh, effect of Spark AR. And um, it's going to be an amazing experience for um, you as well at the same time, because um, in because uh, in this today, um, we will be uh, learning everything from scratch. So don't worry about it. Uh, it. It will be very easy for you. So. Uh, before starting, let's understand what is actually augmented reality um, before jumping to directly spark air. So basically, augmented reality is an enhanced version of the real physical um, world that is uh, achieved through the use of digital uh, visual elements, sound, or um, other sensory um, simulations, as we would say. Like, for example, um, when you uh, look to the Instagram or we can see the Facebook filters, and uh, it is very much easy for you to uh, put on a necklace on your neck uh, without even having it uh, using the AR effects. So that's how actually augmented reality works. So um, today, uh, let's um, understand, uh, like um, as uh, Anamika ma'am mentioned about what is actually uh, Spark AR. So first, let's uh, quickly jump to the uh, Spark AR Studio and understand how you can uh, download it if you haven't downloaded it yet. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I'll quickly share my screen. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's quickly just share my screen so that it will be easy for you to get started. Yeah, it's done. Perfect. So um, you can just uh, see me looking perfect. Great. So and also, uh, if you have any sort of doubt, you can just put it in the comment section. I would be happy to uh, resolve it. Uh, uh, resolve it all. No doubt is small, so uh, don't be worried about it. Okay. So let's first understand how you can download this Spark AR Studio. Okay. So uh, you you need to click on this link. It's sparkar.facebook.com slash AR Studio slash download. And uh, when you click on this download button here, you can download your uh, Spark AR Studio. And it's, and it's very much easy. It's, you just need to simply download it and install it on your um, laptop or a PC. And after that, uh, you will be um, able to get this Spark AR Studio. And there are various versions. There's um, re really amazing uh, updates that goes on every time. So that's how it's gonna look like, and also uh, like before jumping to it, and also I um I would love to uh, tell one more thing to you that when it comes to Spark AR, there are various opportunity that goes on. Like when it comes to opportunities, there are um opportunities like um freelancing, and also you get an opportunity to um get started your career in the remote work as well. So um, don't be worried about it that, okay, what's going to happen after this workshop? Okay, after this workshop, you're going to explore more about Spark AR and you're going to um, try your hands on uh, after it. And um, then um, if you loved it, then you can also see your career in that um, because um, we know what's happening, what's crazy happening in Metaverse, and it's going to be a great opportunity for you at the same time. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, quickly jump to our Spark AR Studio, and here it's going to look like. I hope you have downloaded it till now, and it's um, going to look like this. There are various uh, things that is that show up is create new, learn, recent projects, open. Confusing, right? 
let's make it simple okay so first of all uh, we in the create room you have three experiences the the first experience is blank project the second one is sharing experience the third one is a video calling experience now um when you actually open your instagram okay so um uh, when uh, ever you are uh, putting a story on your instagram or facebook then uh, you uh, can use some filters you can add some filter to the existing photo something like that goes on so um that actually comes under sharing experience like ar for stories reels posts and messages okay and the uh and uh, then it comes to video calling experience like for example like you are video calling with one of your friend or family and that time um uh, like there are various filters that goes that uh, shows up there as well so that also comes that that all comes into the video calling experience and it's actually amazing right uh, it it's so good when you see someone using your um, filter on them while uh, video calling someone or Uh, while posting your stories it's a great experience at the same time and it's a long project it's like for example you just want to try out you want to understand what you want to make um just working on it trying it out and then um making the project so that's how it actually looks like uh, again uh, if you have any doubt you can put it in the comment section i would be happy to solve all okay um yeah so uh, let's um get back to our spark ar studio so um moving further there are various templates so when it comes to templates um these are the coolest thing i would say that i really love about spark ar is over the templates these templates are very 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 much useful for everyone no matter uh, if you are a beginner or or you are having the advanced knowledge these templates are very helpful reason being for example let's um have this template of um like um uh, let's take the template of this specs one okay now uh, when you click on this it's going to look like this now uh, how it's basically um a template like uh like everything is uh, done um by its own okay and then here you can see uh, it's written delete me it means you can just delete and um change the specs okay you can just change the uh, spectacles um and add uh, some other spectacles to this particular um thing or add some more functionalities to it so that's how it's going to look like and it actually uh, helps you to make your work very much easy like for example if i am making an effect in which i need specs and i for example i'm making um um an effect for something related to birthday then how am i going to make it i'm going to add some a uh, hat to it and then a specs and uh, like not a specs a goggle something thing and then um adding some more um cute stuff to the effect so that's how it's going to look like so uh, if i just uh, if i have this template it's going to make my work very much easy it's it's just i need to um click on the template add um, uh the hat and the other stuff and it's and it's done my half work is done because of this template so yeah templates are very much amazing and plays a major role in this part here okay so yeah that's how it's uh, it looks like then um these are the templates and then when we'll go to the learn part um, you actually uh, can see that there are tutorials and um, articles that are present for your or um, like uh, to making your work ease the reason being like when you see these tutorials you'll be uh, like for example if you are stuck and you want to get started with the scripting because and also like um spark ar is for everyone okay it's not important to be a developer or be a coder to um get started with the spark ar studio it's for everyone you can be a developer you can be a designer you can be a person who is totally from a non tech background spark ar is for everyone so for example if you want to get started with scripting so there's a choice that goes into okay then uh, there's a video creating an effect with scripting so these videos are very much helpful like creators have put in a lot of their effect uh, efforts to make um, 
these tutorials and it's truly amazing and also there are some articles like for example i'm um, putting a mask on my face so that time the uh, face uh, structure of every person is different so that's why we have some face references assets provided to us and um, it actually helps us to uh, understand that actually okay um, like um, will the will that particular uh, face mask gonna look equally amazing to every person who's gonna use it okay no matter how your face is uh, it can be uh, it can be fat it can be small it can be any so that's how it works and um, it's uh, the, the the learn section is uh, uh, great and then uh, there are some recent projects you can uh, you can open your project so yeah yeah um this is all about uh, our spark ai student and also you can um, uh, add on to the community of spark ai it is very much helpful um there's uh, two communities of spark ai uh, the one is the global community and the second one is um, um, somehow the indian community and they are truly amazing the community is very much helpful and um, equally beneficial so whenever you are uh, putting something in the community the people will be there to help you out to uh, resolve your doubts then and there so yeah community is being a great part for this park here at the same time so uh, uh, again it would be great if you could just uh, join in our facebook community um if you have any sort of doubt you can just put it up in there and uh, your doubts will be resolved really very soon so i'll just put up the community link in the comment section till then yeah so um, i guess um, that's pretty much about this park ai uh, let's finally start our hands on session uh, let's click on the blank project let's start from the scratch we don't need anything right now we just wanted to start from scratch there's nothing that we need um, beforehand so uh, let's understand how it's going to be made so uh, let me just change the view so that you can just um, see everything very really nicely perfect looks great to me yeah so first of all uh, it's an untitled project so let's first of all rename the project let's save it as uh, like for example let's um, uh, like here i'm all my projects so let's save it as a new project okay so let's name it as a new project let's um, not have like for example i have nothing in my mind i don't know what to make so let's name it as a new project and um, let's understand what are the things that are available in this part here yeah? okay uh, before moving further with it okay so now um, in uh, that you know what uh, what you need to understand is uh, there are uh, three things the first one is the scene panel okay in the scene panel like for example what is whatever is available here is being um, uh, displayed here like for example when you click on the device you can clearly see when i have clicked on the device this has uh, like became blue what's the reason so basically it shows that this is the device like for example this is my phone it's going to look like this okay so that's how the screen is going to be looking like then you can add, you can see that okay how is the direction light is going to look like you can change the direction light if you want to so that's how it works then there's a microphone as well if you want to add some sound to it then you can easily add to it right and also uh, there's workspace as well like when you click on the workspace there are four things that goes on is a show page editor show console show asset summary show multiple debugging tool like for example page editor is basically you are dragging and dropping and mixing stuff and it's really amazing um i'll be just showing the page editor soon to you and it's going to be really great for you the second thing that goes is a show console is basically for example you are adding some script into it then the, then you'll be using the console the third one is the show asset summary uh, like assets is basically the things that you are using in the um, uh what you can say in the uh, spark ai while making an effect uh, like for example i am um, using um picture okay then uh, if uh, for example uh, i am using a uh, uh, specs okay in my effect then that particular if then that particular specs 
is important to me and if it's important to me then it is called an asset okay so that's how it's gonna be um uh, like named as i hope you'll understand then um then we'll uh, go to the this video section now you can see there are various thing uh, like um, you can check on there are real time simulation now what is the meaning of real time simulation let's uh, first understand the meaning of yeah sorry yeah so let's understand what is the meaning of real time simulation so uh, the uh, real time simulation is basically how the effect is going to look like on the person if the person is um a nodding or the person is moving his or her head in the real time so that's basically the real time simulation that's how it's going to look like i can just click on my integrated camera and um, it will show up mine but right now i guess i'm using my camera in this stream yeah so that's why it's going to lag so let's not use my integrated camera basically um for example if you are making an effect then you can just click on the integrated camera and uh, you will be able to understand that how is the effect going to look like it will uh, will be um, um demonstrated on you so this is the thing apart from that you can have different you have uh, different real time simulations available for you like for example if a person is having a beard then how is the effect going to look like on them if a person is having a uh, like a um, turban on them then how is going to look like and also if the person is having a total um white face then how so there are various uh, simulation that are available and also you can add more like for example i have added this simulation like for example if you are making and if you are making an effect for a plane uh, for just uh, like um, a jumping doll let's take an example so you can uh, just use the simulation i added these simulations as well so you can add simulations as well it's very easy you can just click on this plus button and you can add the simulation but also key, you, you need to understand that um, uh which file um extension it has to be in so uh, you can just search it on google and it's very easy to find and also you can pause it like for example you want to understand that okay how my effect is going to look like uh, after the moment so just pause it and um, understand it you can stop it you can restart it so it's uh, you can search like for example if you are totally stuck you don't know where my materials have been you have added so many materials and it's very easy to search it on as well so uh, this is the thing uh let's uh move on to our assets you can uh import some assets to your from your computer or from the asset library let's understand what is an asset library if you click on the asset library it's the best thing believe me it is the best thing of spark ar i would say because asset library contains Num uh, like an enormous thing, and it is the best reason being when you click on the three D object, you will see various. You will see nine hundred and ninety nine plus assets that are available that are three D objects. Like for example, if I want the hat, then I just need to search on hat and see how many three D objects there are in the name of hat, and all these assets are free of cost. okay there is nothing charge they are going to ask there is no copyright nothing and also in in this music and sound there is no copyright issue that's going to happen so again it's great for you <laughs> then patch as it like for example um i'll be you uh, explaining that uh, in the later part but yeah like for example if you need to understand that how you can make one color segmentation with outline then you can just add on import this patch as it and yeah it's uh, very easy for you to make it happen because uh, ultimately now you know now you have a uh, like what uh, we can say you have uh, a hint okay or a crack so yeah now we we have various textures we have 77 textures and they are looking perfectly amazing we have blocks we have color lots like you have seen those filters right in which there is um like a um black and white filters so uh, like you can use this a uh, lot and then uh, you can um, yeah you can have different color filters to your project so yeah, that's how it's going to look like uh, let's um, finally move on to our um, effect that how it's going to happen first of all you need to click on this plus button when you click on this plus button all these things is going to um, um 
come to you and uh, you uh, will be seeing that how it's going to get started with that okay so uh, let's uh, understand what's what are things you need to add and first of all we'll add a face tracker to it now so you can see in the scene uh, understanding there are various things that goes on there are face trackers plane tracker uh, we have um, 3D objects as well, uh, face mesh is basically uh, something that is going on the face or you can have some 2D objects like rectangle, some 2D text, you can add some lights as well if you want to, like if you want some environment light, some more lightning, then you can add that as well and if you want to add some voice to it, like you know, you, 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 have, you, you might have seen those effects in which there is the pre-recorded voice that comes into so yeah you can add those that too as well with particle system as well so there are the things that is that are all that is already there so let's have the face tracker because um we're gonna understand that how we're gonna make a very cute nice uh panda builder so let's understand that for that uh, we have the face tracker with us now uh, in the face tracker let's add a null object to it now why we are adding a null object reason being because um uh, we uh, need to make a panda filter in uh, which they, like I'll just quickly show you uh, what we are actually gonna make. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make this again. If you have any sort of doubt, you can just add it in the comment section. I would be happy to answer it all. Okay, so yeah, the this is a very nice panda filter that we are today gonna make and. Um, it's um, going to be a good experience for you at the same time. So yeah, let's understand how to make that. This is the panda filter. As you can see, there's a panda that's on your head and the two paws on your cheeks. That's how it's going to look like. So let's um, uh, jump to our uh, new project and uh, let's understand how you can get started with it. When you click on the null object, um, basically uh it's a null object okay now in in that null object you can add on um some uh planes to it okay now basically face track it now see you, you you need to understand one thing right that um you uh, you need the panda to be here okay for that it should track your face for it so that's the reason uh, we actually added the null object to our face tracker okay and the null object will be containing some planes to it now why it containing the plane because the um images that we have like it can be panda it can be pause that are all gonna be inside the plane okay plane object so uh, let's go to the plane and um let's um yeah uh, here in the in the in the right side you can see um there's a material and there's a um, plus button that is uh, showing so you click on this plus button and you added a new material to it let's name let's um go to the left side uh, left bottom side you uh, you'll see under the assets uh, this um a material that has uh, newly become is the material zero let's keep it as um, panda material okay well, let's name it as panda material and let's name our plane as the panda plane it's a good habit to like rename your uh, objects and materials uh, right away because uh, ultimately what happens after a period of time you just forgot so that's why it is very much important to just rename it um, okay uh, in like beforehand so this is the thing that you need to do and now for that uh, let's add some assets let's import a few um assets from our uh, what we can say from our um laptop i wanted to add this um paw asset let's name that paw i want to add uh, panda asset as well let's add panda asset let's add the panda face it's done panda perfect now you can see there's a circle that is uh, rolling texture is being compressed let's not compress it why it is being compressed because um, when you are working with spark ar there is a limitation okay uh, about uh, how much mb you are uh, making an effect of so why is this limitation like for example if i'll make an effect of like um 
30 MB or like 40 MB of space, then what's going to happen? Will it be able to load in a second? No, it will take a lot of time to be to get loaded. And uh, because of which, obviously, the interest of the user will get um, uh, reduced and the person will not be using the effect. Okay, so that's the reason why um, there's a um, uh, limitation of space that uh, happens in Spark yeah, that is of 4 MB for Instagram. So because of that, uh, the pictures get uh, the the textures get compressed automatically. But yeah, for example, if you know that you are adding the textures which are of less um, like. Um, KB or MB, then uh, don't compress it because uh, it's it's totally up to you. You need to take care of how much uh, like uh, space you are adding into. Okay, so yeah, uh, 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 like apart from that, uh, like you added the paw and the panda. Now uh, let's go to the panda material and um, see. Here's a shader type you can see. Now let's uh, uh, like here you can see the texture word that is written. So let's click on this and let's add panda texture to it okay mm -hmm. when you add a panda texture to it it's um uh, i guess it's not plain yeah now you can see the panda is being here it's looking like here so let's pause our video here and now click on the panda and then just drag it and put it somewhere on the head now now, now you you see one thing that there's a huge difference between this panda that I have taken and this panda that is being reflected. So, what's the difference? I'll show you. When you click on the material, when you click on the panda, sorry, when you click on the panda material, then you can see there's there there are few shader types that are available. Here you can make the shader type as flat. Here you can make the shader type as physically based. Let's play the video and let's see. Let's face paint. So that's how it's going to um, differ. So uh, for that, uh, let's keep the shader type as flat because I want it to be visible nicely. OK, so let's keep it like that. Now, um, moving further with our effects, so let's add one more plane. Let's um, click, uh, let's click, just just right click to it and um, make a duplicate of it and name it as a uh, plane. Now we are working on the pause. So uh, it would be left and we'll make a duplicate of it and we'll make it as right. Cool. So that's how we are making it. Now uh, when you click on the left, uh, let's create a new material to it and let's name the material as left or Add a texture to it that is for after adding the texture again make the shader type as flat now no change is being uh, seen there now when you click on the paw left it is being clicked so drag the paw and now just you need to drag it and place it over somewhere here now you can see the paw size is way too large okay so what you need to do you need to click on the paw left and then you need to go to the scale and let's keep it as 0 0.1 0 0.1 scale is basically what's the size of the material that you are using okay i actually keep, kept it as 0 0.1 it's way too small now let's um, keep it like a 0 0.5 somehow okay let's keep it as 0 0.5 0.5 now let's stop it and let's keep it nicely here i guess 0 0.5 is again large let's keep it as 0 0.4 not too large not too small perfect and again uh, let's okay it's perfect now you can also change the view let's keep it as the front view uh, let's keep it as a back perfect so now it's very easy for me to place the objects okay and it's very easy for me to understand how it's it is, is actually looking on it it is is it possible to show my own 3d model as an asset yeah exactly it's very much um, easy so uh, like for example you uh, as i mentioned you can um, 
uh, have assets from your asset library or uh, if not you can have assets of your own as well um like um like various like most of the time the assets are being downloaded from the sketch fab and if you are making your own um 3D model, then yeah, uh, keep the extension accordingly, and then yeah, you can add it easily. But again, this one thing, keep this in your mind that how much space that asset is being taken. Okay, don't make the asset of like um, <laughs> three MB or four MB something because ultimately the limit of your uh, effect is four MB. It it shouldn't exceed more than that, else it won't be um, like um showed up on the instagram so that's why it is uh, very much important to uh, keep this in your mind that how much space your assets are taking so this is the one thing that you need to keep in mind it's a good question thanks for asking cool again if you have any sort of doubt you can just drop it in the comment i would be happy to answer them all so let's again get back to our uh, spark yard studio and let's see what's um happening and yeah here you can see we actually made the paw lift and it's rightly placed let's uh, delete the paw right and <laughs> make a duplicate of it let's not waste our time and uh, for, for uh like um again making uh like uh, playing around the scale and make it as paw right after making it um just drag the paw right to this side oh sounds cool to me okay now it's looking totally perfect and um you actually made a very uh, amazing filter in uh, it's it's a very cute filter at the same time you can see that uh, yeah a panda is on your hair the paws and uh, it's it's actually looking cute so uh, let's add something more to it um, in in these filters you have seen there's uh, some touching some retouching on face have been done. So if I'll add makeup to it, so it will somehow be restricted to girls. If I'll add some eyeliner or lipstick to it, then boys won't be using it. So let's add some retouching to it. For that, you need to go to the face tracker and you need to right click and you need to add an object to it. Now, which object you need to add? You need to add an object of face mesh. Why face mesh? Because reason being, now um, you are having, you you need to apply something on your face directly on your whole face. So for that, we will be needing a face mesh. Again, when you click on the face mesh, you'll go here, you'll add a material to it, create new material, and then the new material has been added. Let's rename the material as the face material. After changing the name, now you also what you have to do, you need to add, uh, you you need to change the shader type. Now here you can see there's a new shader type that has been added is the retouching shader type. It's all for the face. Like if you want to smooth the face, uh, you can use it the retouching. When you click on the retouching, okay, and let's keep the retouching as ninety five and yeah. So let's just see it clearly. Okay, I'll just show you what it's going to look like actually. When you see this clearly, I'll make you understand that what actually happened and how different it is. If you'll see the skin smoothing, if, if I made the skin smoothing zero, how it looks and how it looks when I did the skin smoothing 100. So that's what the difference you need to understand it is coming. So that's how I actually added um, what we can say. I actually added um, smoothing to it. And what actually happens, like if you add just one uh, uh, smoothing to it, it, uh, the, it will increase the user experience because um, uh, that's how it works, right? You can also add makeup to it if you want to. I'll just tell you how to add a makeup if you want to. Then you have to go to the asset library, click on the asset library, just search makeup. And that's how it's gonna look. Uh, you, uh, you, you uh, in the block section, you can see there's a makeup. When you click on it, uh, there's the whole block that has been shown. Now, when you click on the import free, it's been downloading. Yeah. 
yeah it's done so let's cut it and yeah here you can see in the blog section our makeup has been added to it now right now you can't add you can you can't change anything in this blog why so i have clicked on the makeup but i can't do any sort of changes here why because i haven't added to the scene panel yet so it is very much important to add everything to the scene panel because ultimately if you are using it if you want to make it show it up on the screen then you need to add it on the scene panel because ultimately it's the scene that is visible to the person so just drag just uh, click on the makeup drag it and keep it somewhere here okay okay that's how it's gonna look like now do you, can you see the difference let's keep it non-visible now this is the difference that you can see let's uh take up some different um real time simulation and understand how is the difference okay now when you click on the makeup just uh like see it clearly that what's the difference that goes in when you click visual vis visible and now the visible has been closed so this is the difference the makeup has been added to it and it's so easy to make it right so this is the thing that i always uh, say to everyone that spark yet is not that much difficult you think that it's a new technology it would be difficult no it's not it's very easy it's just you need to try it out give it a try you need to try it out i am damn sure you're gonna love it and you will be enjoying this whole thing this whole journey and why not to keep to uh, like um, have it as your career why not because it's so amazing and it's so fun to make you are making filters for people you are making filter for your own if you are making um if it's for your friends birthday or something like that and it's cool and it's amazing so yeah that's how it works so um let's keep it as visible and now uh, let's change the stuff okay let's let's do some thing changing okay in the inputs you can see there are various thing that has been added on okay now let's understand now i really want an eye color <laughs> okay let's keep it as white okay okay not keep it as white uh, i i need to start the video first of all then only i can just start it up okay now let's uh, keep the eye color as um, something this i can also choose it from here let's keep it something like this let's click on okay now i still really don't want the eye color let's keep the opacity of the eye color be at almost zero now eye shadow again i really don't need an eye shadow if if you want you can just have a look on these eye shadow you can have some red eye shadow or something like that pink it's going to look like this right now i really don't i it just need a little of the eye shadow okay lips color if you want to add some lipstick to it then you can have it like that it's way too much so let's make the opacity almost half now light sensitivity is okay spe uh, specular threshold specular intensity reflectivity in lightness is perfectly fine let's see the saturation okay you can see the saturation right of the you, if you want to understand what's the saturation you need to have a look on the lipstick okay when the saturation is zero the lipstick is being almost grayish and the when saturation is one then it's pink so this is the basic difference of the saturation that you can see after that uh, i i really don't want to add any sort of eyelashes so let's not um, so what you can do let's um, keep the pattern city of eyelashes almost zero okay then uh, eyelashes length again i really don't want eyelashes so let's keep it as almost zero so yeah that's how it's going to look like so uh, you can add so that's how you can add makeup as well if you want to and um it's really amazing at the same time okay so that's how it's going to look like and that's how you will be able to make this let's add something more functionalities to it so it's actually uh, making me feel really cool so let's add something more to it um let's um add a uh, one functionality to it is um of canvas okay now when you add the functionality of canvas what you need to make it happen now in the can let's keep it now this is the canvas you can see a rectangular 
okay a rectangle that comes in two okay now in that canvas add a 2d object 2D text. Now let's now this is the, the question will uh, come that why I'm adding a canvas and why a 2D text. Okay. Now we want to add the time and date. Okay. Now for that to add the time and date, um, you need to add a text to it. So uh, for that, uh, it's uh, now why like see the canvas is basically the screen that has been shown to you. Okay. Now in that you need to add a text to it. You need this you need a text inside the screen okay onto the screen so uh let's add a 2d text to it now um you, I, I i i don't want uh, if it's sunday it will show me up sunday no i, I want like um, like for example like uh i wanted to uh, to to actually show the exact date and time okay so um for that uh, let's drag the text to something here let's cut the word text and here you can see uh, to the right side of the dynamic text is you can insert now what you can insert you can insert time is the shot so that's how it's gonna look so yeah it's so like um it, it, it's actually so amazing to add the uh, like perfect time so in the same manner let's uh, let's name it as the time text Okay, let's do, let's make a duplicate of it and uh, name it as date text. And uh, let's clear the text box and insert a date in short. Oh, sorry, not date, a day basically. I need to change it. I, I'll change it. Day of the week, not basically the date because it's going to look very different. To me, let's keep it as day as I was taking said day. Cool. Now let's uh, just drag the Thursday upwards. Let's change the size of it. Now let's play around the uh, the alignment, and yeah, it's looking perfect. That's great. Now uh, again, if you have any sort of question, you can ask it in the comment section. I would be happy to answer them all then uh like in the time text you can also change the font size like for example i want to make it as this you can make it like that you can just play around with the font style as well it's a um, great thing uh let's change the font of day as uh, day as well uh let's keep it as more good and nice yeah it's it's actually looking perfect now but that's how it's gonna look like and let's save our project right now the project is being saved it's looking perfect on the face and it's so cute and nice okay so uh, let's understand how to publish your own first ever effect so uh, for that uh, you need to first add the experience to it. when you go to the settings the project properties when you click on that it it, uh, it will show you choose a experience type you need to click on the change project properties when you click on that you can add experience as i mentioned in this initial stage of the workshop that you can uh, make you can you have to keep it clear that for what sort of audience you are making the effect for so uh, like for example i'm making the effect for the stories and reels and posts and the messages so i'll be adding the sharing experience let's keep it insert and yeah it's done cool so now first of all uh for and also you need to make a demo video of your effect so you for what you have to do first of all uh under the asset library there's an option comes like in uh, in the left bottom side there's an option comes of test on device when you click on the test on device uh whatever uh like devices you have added on you can test on there like for example i have added my instagram and facebook i'll click uh, i'll i'll send the link to my instagram and then uh, it will be um, demonstrated on my uh, instagram account and uh, that's how it's going to look like i'll just show you how like in like it's it's actually coming right now so uh, it's uploading to the spark hub first of all it, it will be uploaded to the spark hub and then it, it, it it's going to send a notification on my instagram that yeah and then see we have sent a notification to instagram open the app to test your effect now uh, here I can uh, clearly see that yeah my um, uh, here you can uh, clearly see that yeah uh, like that's how it's gonna basically uh, look like 
that you can just um, try a preview of your uh, AR of effect. So that's how it's uh, gonna look like. So uh, this is the thing. Um, you uh, now when you click on the notification that you actually received on your um, Instagram, you can easily check your effect. You you will be able to understand how it's gonna looking on you, and then you can try out or you can just uh, hear. Also, you can get your test link. You when you click on this test link, uh, it uh, will open up like this, and then you can copy it and share it uh, with your friends, and they can also. Test your uh, effect. After that, if you if you are totally confident that now let's I'm ready now let's uh, publish this effect. First of all, save the effect and then click on the publish button that is uh, just um, down the test on device. After that, uh, if you have already recorded a demo video, you can add it up here or you can add the recorded video later as well in the procedure. Now let's um, click on upload. Here it's uploading. So you are you excited that you actually made your first ever own Instagram or we can say Facebook effect? It's actually truly amazing and um, um, making your own effect and um, adding some more functionalities to it. You can um, uh, show your friends that how actually you are working on some new technology, right? So that's how it's going to look like. So let's name, so that's how the Spark Hub is going to open. So let's uh, give it a good name to it. Um, uh, let's name it as a cute panda filter. Okay, let's cute panda effect. Now, after that, uh, I, I want it to be uh, like added up to the specific platforms. After that, uh, yeah. Here you can add some categories to it, like what basically what sort of effect you have made. Like it's not a world AR. Like for example, it's not about the surroundings. It's about me. It's about a selfie thing. So for that, uh, it's it will come into appearance. It's selfie. It's somehow love and positive because it's a cute panda. It's actually cool and cute. And again, it's animal. So you can add these. Uh, add four categories to it and then you can add some keywords so like for example you when you go to your instagram or facebook and search for effects you, you browse effects okay so there's a keyword that you search for okay for example you want um an eye effect okay you you, you search blue eye something like that so that's how you're gonna you you have to add some keywords to it so what's gonna be cute with panda it's cute it's uh, we have date we have time to it Okay, we have added um, pause to it as well. Okay, it's um, let's keep that cute panda only. Or um, what else things uh, we can add on? We have some smoothing to it. It's beauty. It's uh, animal. Okay, so yeah, I guess uh, also you can add more uh, keywords up to twenty, and it's amazing. Let's add the demo video that I actually recorded. Um, back so i'll add my video to it yeah uh this is my recorded video my, my demo video that i actually recorded <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna add this and also uh you can upload a picture for your thumbnail okay uh what do you actually want to add on you can change the video thumbnail if you want to okay you can see how it's gonna look like on your um, instagram profile and uh, yeah that's how it's going to look like you i can also use the video thumbnail or i can upload a different image from my desktop or pc or i can say from a laptop and then yeah if you have made this effect with someone then you can add the collaborators as well at the same time so that's how it's going to look like and also uh let's click on the summon because we are done <laughs> yeah exactly the effect has now being published in just a few seconds. Yeah. Are you excited for this? I am sure you are. <laughs> Let's wait for a few seconds and then your effect will be submitted. And uh, then you can show your friends that yeah, you are working on a new technology and you can also get started with, it, with this technology and um, uh, understand that, uh, yeah, uh, changing your domains is also very much important. 
that's how it's going to look like see this one notification that you will receive you have submitted your effect successfully it is usually reviewed within a few hours but could take up to five days so yeah this is the thing also now it is very much important now when when you'll go to the review when you go to the visibility okay for now obviously the effect is being under uh, is under review so that's why it is not visible but keep the status as on only please don't keep the status off because if you will keep the status as off then yeah, the effect won't be visible to anyone and and won't be visible here as well okay so uh, that's why uh, it is a uh, very much important to keep it as open okay now uh, after that when it's open um, now uh, now for example you want to you have participated in a hackathon or something like that so for that thing um, what you need to do you, you you just need to go to your effect and here you can see the three dots here you can test it on your device you can copy your effect id you can copy your owner id as well and also you can share it with your friends if you want to you just need to click on this url and yeah it's copied so that's how it's going to look like and that's how it's going to be visible to you i'll just show you some insights of my effects that i made lately and the insights are truly um immense for me <laughs> because um i i actually worked a lot on these so um yeah you can see in in, in past 28 days I, I i got actually um like around uh, 1 lakh uh, 39000 around opens on my effect and it feels so good uh, to to see the progress right and there are 40000 plus impressions so that's how i also um see that uh, like the that feeling that yeah people are using your effect the people are actually can uh, understand your imagination it feels so good so yeah this feeling is truly immense and uh, truly great so that's how you can all you can um like while uh, filling your submission form uh, you you just need to click on your effect go to these three dots copy the effect id paste it on the sheet copy your owner id paste it on the sheet and then when you click on the share here you will find the share link click on this share link and it will be copied on the clipboard and you just need to paste it on the sheet so that's how you will be able to submit your effect as well at the same time so that's how uh, you can uh, get started with your first ever own effect and you can submit it on the uh, submission form that uh, I will be sharing in a minute or so in the chat box. Don't forget to uh, submit your first ER effect. I would be very happy to see it and try it on my face as well to see that how amazing effects that you have made lately. And because the uh, like um, when you actually make an effect, the feeling again the, that feeling is uh, something that yeah you actually want. Okay, you made that effect. You see, you try it on your face. You can post stories about it that yeah I have made this first my my first ever own effect. So this is the thing that uh, goes. So um, I'll be adding the submission form in the comment box here is the submission form okay here you can uh, see this is the submission form cool now uh, you can uh, submit your ER effect here and I would be very happy to see all those effects. Don't forget to submit it and also you will be getting the meta certificate if you will submit the ER effect and like getting a meta certificate so why not. It's a really great opportunity for you as well at the same time. So uh, that's it for today and also um, as you, I I just wanted to add one more thing to it like uh, whenever you are uh, making an effect and whenever you are uploading it anywhere so we there are a few things that you need to keep it in your mind while um, making an effect or adding up to okay so uh, i'll just quickly just share my screen once again and i'll show you what's the thing you need to keep in mind uh, from the next time whenever you are actually making an effect is about the spark air policies okay 
you just you can easily just google it spark air policy and that's how it's going to look like so um basically the spark air policies plays a major role when it comes to um what we can say when it comes to making a you making your effect so the first thing uh, obviously you 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 need to keep in mind that you can't um, uh, like um, add something wrong to it or again the the performance of the effect should be good how like the, the experience of the user should be good okay uh, like the text and the voice you are using in in your uh, effect shouldn't be um, wrong or shouldn't be uh, like in any way uh, should not um, like uh, like go beyond the policies uh, okay and again uh, like existing media support okay where an effect is enabled for uh, the design of the effect must be suitable for both vertical and the horizontal phones and videos like for example if i have treated my phone like this way then that time also the effect should be uh, like used keep that in your mind now metadata and media okay now you you, you can't use the anyone uh, names and like try not to use name okay and also the the duplicacy is again a major task okay now uh, apart from that the demo videos uh, about like um, the the video the the simulation that you have seen in the spark yeah studio don't use those uh, in your demo videos because uh, again it, it it comes into the policies you need to make your own video or you can um think of it that how you want to have the demo video but don't use the existing simulations videos and then yeah there are our ar content standards so you can just check out the facebook community guide community standards and the instagram community guidelines at the same time to understand it more and um there shouldn't be any sort of misleading or spamming in your effect or again no online gambling or game should be there there shouldn't be any sort of um misguidance under your effect should, like uh, it won't be entertained and uh, there shouldn't be any sort of external links so that's uh, all about the policies that you need to keep in mind uh, before making your ar effect so yeah that's it for today uh, thanks a lot everyone for joining in uh, we uh, i i would be happy to see you all again in the second workshop and um, will uh, surely um, like uh, make uh, an advanced effect this time uh, let's uh, we we will be making something more cool okay uh, yeah uh, till then have a great day and all the best uh, for your ar effect see you in the next session